okay so solving the problem on the screen i'm going to produce uh the uh item number one which is uh the boat okay producing that item number one i'm going to use uh hexagon yeah polygon hexagon okay measuring that okay so the dimensions is across flat 36 across flat which is year to year that's what 36 enter in that order all right and the diameter of the uh stored itself the trade is m24 that is what m24 but before that i'm going to finish this sketch first of all i'm going to extrude this thickness of uh, 15 15 okay so clicking on this surface create sketch all right produce a circle a circle tangential to that finish sketch all right click on extrude click on intersect click on more pick 45 then what okay so that settled right there so under here create sketch all right diameter of what diameter 24 enter finish sketch length of what length of 100 100 okay so that uh, diagram is diameter 24 by 2 so the chamfer here is what 2 all right so okay then i'm going to what, pick my thread and what thread this part okay all right so making it realistic i'm going to pick uh silver for it okay picking silver then view uh, realistic okay in that order then i'm done so i'm going to name this what item one item one okay so i'm going to create a new working environment create all right i'm producing what uh, item two item two is something of uh, a pin all right something of a pin so create sketch in this manner all right i'm going to rule this line right here okay in this manner okay so the diameter of the distance itself is what is diameter eight that's radius what radius four enter and the height the height there is uh 40 40 height of 40 enter okay so pulling it towards this side then what down here okay what is the next thing what is the next thing to do as you can see in the given information the diameter 14 okay so from here down here i'm measuring what uh mark of seven enter then down here also i'm measuring what seven enter okay in this manner then what down there so finishing my sketch right there i'm going to what pick my revolve command i'm rubbing this and this axis should be towards here and what okay then i'm going to pick my fillet fillet of radius what that's the information you are seeing that sr7 radius what radius 7 then placing it here then okay all right so this is just a pin it is a pin so that's how it's going to look like i'm going to make it silver also s for silver also view visual realistic okay item two item number what number two okay all right so going for item theory right now so control n a new working environment all right then start sketch in this manner okay so i'm going to start right here okay from this midpoint right here i'm having the first one is diameter eight enter this one is what radius 10 that's diameter what's diameter 20 enter all right what's the next procedure right there i'm having this straight line from here okay this straight line from here 
in that manner i'm having this very line like this in this manner i'm having this shape right here i'm having something like this right here then i'm having this back to this junction here okay putting the dimensions i was told that based on the question this area is worth six enter all right based on the question this area is worth 10 enter and based on the question from year to year is uh, 20 enter okay so picking my constraint this to this this to this that's potential constraints right then the dimension from here down to the midpoint here is what that's a uh, mark of 90 90 if i'm not mistaken that's 90 right wow if that is 90 <laughs> then let me put this here let me put something like 100 first of all and see so i'm not even sure whether that area is 100 i actually put 100 just to take a glimpse so let's proceed removing that 100 because we are not sure that area is 100 all right we are sure that this area is 90 this area is 6 okay and the angle if this line proceeds down here all right if this line proceeds down here the angle we are having here in between here is what is 15 so 15 in that manner fifteen towards the bottom here then towards the top here uh, that should okay so since the angle at the bottom here is fifteen fifteen minus ninety is what that's sixty five so the angle from here to here is what is 60 sorry so sorry for that so the angle right here is what is 65 degrees that's 65 degrees right in that manner in that manner okay so what's the next thing to do i'm going to what finish my sketch then finishing my sketch i'm going to pick what extrude i'm going to extrude this one to mark of what mark of mark of 12 yeah this and this to go to 12 all right enter so material to be what mild steel or oh, let's use steel let's use pure steel i uh, know that's not okay yeah so let's use uh mild steel okay view visual style realistic okay that's item number three and we are having two of that item number three item three all right so i'm producing item four right now so control n new worksheet create all right in that manner i'm going to uh, start to this sketch pick any plane of my choice okay so 100 plus 20 that's uh 120 okay picking rectangle height of 34 span of 120 enter all right yeah so consider constraint this down here all right so I'm having this right here and this radius radius for that's diameter what 
digital diameter 8 diameter of what 8 enter and I told that the distance from this midpoint okay yeah to the center right here is what is going to be 50 yes let me confirm that no that is not the case there all right so let me cancel that first of all we can see that so I'm also having another of what of diameter 8 right here also okay okay so gotten so the distance from this to the edge here is what 10 plus 16 that's what 26 right there then also this to this 10 plus 16 that's what no cancel so this should be cancelled delete i'm gonna delete this then from this midpoint to the edge is also what 26 all right is also 26 right there 26 okay so what's the next procedure to do i'm going to pick my lines all right from here towards the edge from here towards the edge all right from here towards the edge right there from here towards the what edge right there my constraint this to this this to this this to this then this to this all right so that's been settled that being said so i'm uh, picking my circle i'm uh, picking my circle right in the center here circle of diameter 24 enter finishing that sketch all right so thickness of 20 at uh, the middle here symmetric then 20 okay given my okay right there so then uh it's a threaded area so but the chamfer is chamfer of what two at this end and that end chamfer of what two okay then thread throughout yeah it's a threaded part all right so thread it at internal side then okay all right so picking this top creating sketch all right so radius of uh diameter it because that's where the pin is going to sit into so first of all picking my line hidden line for that matter from the center outwards removing the hidden line picking my circle yeah centralized diameter eight right so another circle diameter it enter so the distance between the two circles are uh, mark of what is mark of a mark of 100 mark of 100 enter then picking my symmetry this right here this right here then this centralizes it finishing my sketch then extruding it yeah i'm going to use distance is going to be all all right then does it over there so making it realistic i'm going to paint this let me paint it gold you know yeah so control s does item four item four item four enter so view visual realistic in that order so save it all right what else are we producing i think that's all so the next thing is to what is to assemble it all together as seen in the picture on the screen so control n then standard mm create 
okay yeah so having that environment we click on what place after clicking our place item one two three and four open it opening it then does it so escape so uh let's ground this yeah let's ground item number four so item four is what is grounded all right so like this item number three and item number two we'll be needing two of them so i'm going to place them one more time item number two and item number what, three open so i'm having them now all right so what's the next procedure what is the next procedure so i'm going to pick my constraint i'm going to pick my uh insert right picking my insert I'm going to pick this area for this area right here i'm going to click apply i'm going to click on uh angle you understand clicking on this manner the angle there should be okay so i'm going to click on constraint right now all right so i'm going to tilt this one out there how do i do it i'm going to click on angle click on direct angle click on this plane and what this plane on zero degree that's just it so if i click on 90 degrees see what is going to come out let's click 90 do you see so if i click 180 180 do you see so to what it is so but on mark zero degree that's it right there i'm going to click what okay all right so on my constraint also i'm going to click uh insert coming going to be inserting ah, i know i made a mistake so this insert insert this right there okay so apply then i'm going to be using angle right here also okay so uh this particular one i'm going to place it let me delete this insert that i actually put here yeah so i made a mistake so i need to actually tilt it the other way around so clicking on my constraint all right i'm going to click on insert okay this area for this area here i'm going to click on what on apply then i'm going to click on what uh angle i'm going to click on this and what and this okay in this manner does it all right then what apply and what cancel okay so what's the next thing to do what's the next thing to do the next thing is uh picking my constraints all right so picking uh picking this right here no using my insert all right so picking this then at the back right there apply okay so let me confirm whether that's how it's actually going to sit all right that's how it's going to sit but it's coming out too much so let me undo that uh constraint that's item number one i'm going to undo that insert let me delete it okay so coming out here constraint let me use meet this down here can you see i'm going to press what apply all right so then canceling it so you see it is rolling in what on that axis can you see so i'm going to leave it this way okay so our pin first and second pin 
so this coming down here all right this in this manner so my first pin my second pin arranged in that order all right so i'm going to pick my constraint insert this comes here so apply then this comes here and also what apply then what cancel okay so that is our what that is our object right there fully what fully assembled so i'm going to save this as what as assembly save this as assembly all right so what's the next thing to do here the next thing to do right here is uh, our working drawings so before the working drawings let's do the presentation control n so i'm going to do presentation first of all right now standard mmipn open all right so after pressing the open i'm going to click on this assembly open all right that's it so then i'm going to click on my tweak component clicking tweak component the first thing to go out is this then yeah, this comes out here so i'm going to pick this control you press control then you pick this so that you remove them at the, at the same time then it's what it goes up there okay this also and this using control then what it goes out there then what okay so let me play it does it coming back to its position swinging inside then that one also going right there all right so that is i'm going to save that also enter all right yes to all okay that is that about that all right that's that about that so a new project file all right that's going to be iso idw create so we are going to do what to the working drawings to the working drawings so i'm going to click on base clicking on base so clicking on base i'm going to pick assembly open all right picking my assembly open i'm going to scale should be two ratio one. hope that's not to be well that's bogus how about one ratio one yeah in this order okay having this in this manner let's create our part list pressing okay so i'm going to come to annotate pick my balloon okay 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 so i'm going to start all over there's a mix up somewhere there okay okay so this comes here enter this comes here enter this comes here enter right then this comes here enter those are the four items used there all right so then i'm going to click my part list click on this click on my assembly click on open click this then what place it right here directly on top of my was my title block right there i'm going to double click on this edit this format to what part name part name okay so this one the item number one item number one is produced through what milling produced through milling Oh, sorry, item number one is produced through what? Trading. Yeah, trading. Sorry, my mistake. So, item number two is produced through uh, turning. Turning on the list. Turning on lit. Alright. Item number three is produced through milling. And item number four is also produced through what? Through milling and boring okay so that is that about that so i'm good to go so i'm going to save that as what isometric view isometric view so i'm going to implore you to do the necessary setup you need to do right here all right 
to and use your multi test to change it, uh whatever you need to actually change right here okay so moving on to create all right so this okay picking this assembly open okay two ratio one sorry one ratio one with better one ratio one having it this way wow this way this way and uh, this way i'm going to change this scale half one ratio two that's too small one ratio point no point six uh, that's one ratio 1.5 let's see that okay 1.2 okay i think this is better measure 1.2 is better okay all right so I'm going to do the orthographic projection cancel so bringing this to the top so annotate dimension All right so center to center down there we are having this okay so this to this does it over there All right this right here <laughs> does it over there All right this right here does it over there all right this right here i'm going to make it what dimension type aligned does it over there all right so from this to this okay does it over there all right this this is right here okay this this is it right there all right so what else this to this this is it right there all right the diameter of this is what 14 right there this to this that's 24 right there this to this okay that's it right there this to this this is it right here all right so coming to the plan uh what else do i have to okay this right here yes okay across flat yes it's right there that manner this does it right there this to this right here in this manner this down here in this manner all right then this to this up here in this manner okay i think that's all for now so i'm going to pick my manage style editor all right my style editor it's loading 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 and loading okay so default iso period zero zero display this one mark two this one mark three text okay every first item on the drop bar 
right this 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 save and close so that's it right there and control s i'm going to write assembly or to graphic okay so you do the necessary changes and editing on the what on the content right here using your uh edit field test and multi-line test right so i move i move so moving next create create i'm producing the okay base assembly open one ratio one in that manner let's say one point two one ratio one point two okay this one is better like this having this right here or this way this way it's our choice okay having this right here so you're gonna do the auxiliary view now All right auxiliary view okay picking my auxiliary picking the object picking this all right in that manner all right in that manner auxiliary in that manner or oh, let me delete it finally delete okay let's pick it from here think it's okay this way yeah okay so double click double click on this click on this click on this okay yeah that view is still all right in that manner so you dimension the areas necessary control s i save this as what well. assembly auxiliary all right so now i'm doing the assembly section in control n create wow base assembly open one ratio 1.2 let me use 0.5 to be smaller all right so this mana this mana this mana having this right here all right pressing my okay picking my section like this in this manner okay so like this up here yeah I'm having it right there so this height this okay on this height on this height okay i think that's all yeah that's all for now okay now my annotate dimension from here to here 15 enter all right so here down here enter okay this diameter is right there so diameter 10 right there this 20 right there the it is 6 right there the height from here down here is right here okay so the height from here the height from here to here 
is right here enter in that order the height here is this enter in that order so this midpoint to this midpoint is this in that order right so here to here does it in that order all right so as it right there okay so for the section also you can section it this manner also like this downward face in this direction out of the way in this manner All right so annotate dimension this right here in that order in that order in that order in that order all right so that it's both hide not hide hide right so that is that's about that right there okay so you can dimension this also temper it right there so you do your manage style editor and the likes right so you do that then you move on okay so period zero zero text this right here 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 display this right here this right here save and close all right can you see it right there so that is that about that so we move create okay i show you save that also i'm creating another so i'm creating uh the yeah uh, sectioning and orthographic of each of the parts now all right so the first part item number one which is the boat open okay this one being no ratio one front view plan and view isometric view wherever so annotate now when i pick my dimension yet here 15 enter so this area down here that's gonna be 100 enter okay so across flat right here right here 36 enter all right this to this this is right here 24 enter okay that's all that's all so you do your manage and the nervous stuff you need to do here to give it to you comfortably so i'm going to write this as item one autographic autographic right item on autographic that's for me okay so do the next settings under the style editor and the likes all right so let me do the section for my item one also create right so i think the most important is how to actually assemble it if you assemble your object then the rest is practically easy yeah practically easy okay maybe two ratio wow one ratio one okay that's better i'm doing this section now this standing right here okay 
write with my okay i have my word section this manner down here towards the top continue then having this so your annotate dimension you understand this area out there enter uh, from here to here enter from here to here enter right from here to here also enter okay and we know height okay that's it so you do the necessary settings under the annotate uh, manage style it on the left like one section enter so control n new sheet create okay i'm picking item two right now i'm picking item two item two item two okay so picking this pin right now in this manner right here right here i'm creating it what it's orthographic and that's in what that is in first angle annotated dimension okay yeah fill this seven pick this out 14 all right fill this 14 uh, so that's it so you do the normal uh manage and the likes so do that one on your own okay i'm feeling the necessary part so item two or to graphic for me i think so to graphic for me so creating a new sheet then item two sectioning yeah item two sectioning now picking this item two open okay just okay let's do it this way this way all right having this here clicking on ok section picking this house in this manner facing the top right here wow yeah so i tilted it downward all right so i'm going to pick okay cancel ctrl z press ctrl z ctrl z so i'm going to move uh, this item upward right click my section okay as it is facing the bottom having this right here yeah i think it's better this way so you annotate dimension this right there enter this right there enter okay this right there enter all right so this also a fitting so we don't uh, section that also so this